Governor Chukwu Masaludo has declared that public officials serving under the government of Anambra State have been banned from making public donations in public functions. Governor Saludo made the declaration during the second session of the fifth synod of the Diocese of Amichi. A government house correspondent, G.K. Abana, again reports is taken from our studio. The Synod, which has the theme, Strangers and Pilgrims in the World, are Christian Staters, was presided over by Right Reverend Ephraim Ikako. The church service took place at St. Peter's Church, Amici, near the South Council area. Governor Saludo explained that the directive to public officials is part of his administration's proactive effort to fight corruption, adding that it is also for the sake of probity and transparency in line with stipulated codes of conduct. According to the governor, everyone should join hands to address the issues of security and environment. He drew the attention of the church to the unfortunate threat of idolatry, which is gradually holding seats across the region, noting that the body of Christ being one should synergize and tackle the common threat because if the church as an institution is muscled out by promoters of idolatry, nobody will be safe anymore. It is a fact that we must talk. It took three years to get to the deep, or the so deep, the Bible. It will not go away in three months, but we are determined. We must all rise up together and get this thing solved. Every day we are getting closer and closer. And we are not going to relax. We have been put our hand on the plan. And I'm ready to win. Speaking earlier, Bishop Ikako, who said that Ndiana Brad should trust Governor Soludo to deliver on his mandate because he has the capacity, competence, and experience to change Anambra's story, asked him not to fail as his good name is on the line. While asking him to look for competent contractors to do Anambra roads and not using road contracts to compensate party loyalists, the prelate noted that as a man of integrity, God brought him as governor in this critical time because of a reason and prayed for him to overcome all the challenges bedeviling his government. Your Excellency, we welcome you. We also encourage you by saying, no man, I have been praying as politicians. No man, the neck will be a devil. You will overcome this challenge. <laughs> The governor was accompanied by his wife, Mrs. Monye Suludu. Prayer for the governor and the state was part of the high point of the service.